It says in Matthew 5, 45, he causes his son to rise on both the evil and the good and sends rain on both the righteous and the unrighteous, the just and the unjust. So in reading this, we know it's coming. The storm is coming. So how do you prepare for the storm? Whatever that storm may be, job, health, relationship, sickness, or death. How do you prepare? How do we walk in and through grief? Maybe you've asked yourself as you hear me speaking now, how is she walking in and through this fresh new grief? How in only a few short months is she speaking to us about such a delicate and painful subject? Remember last time when I told you about my prayers, the one I prayed twice on two separate occasions, asking God to prepare my heart for what was about to happen. The best way to walk in and through grief is to be prepared for it. In Psalms 119.11, it says, I have hidden your word in my heart. In Deuteronomy 6.6, 6, it says, These words that I am giving you today are to be in your heart. Be prepared for your storm. Hide God's word in your heart. Memorize scripture and you will be prepared. Lily Kelly Ministries.